Hey y'all, good morning. This is Ned over at MyPhilippineDreams.com. Uh, it's Sunday morning and we're taking a walk around our neighborhood. This is the back area of our neighborhood. It's a big open lot um, that's being contested legally. And uh, I'll show some bonus bonus footage of the lot a little bit later in the video. Um, bonus footage. No, no turtles this time. We might be able to even get some frogs, Rona. I'm keeping my eye out. Um, what I want to talk about here as briefly as possible is having a sense of purpose in the Philippines. Um, once you get here and you settle in and the honeymoon stage starts to wear off, you've got to have something to do. You've got to have something to keep yourself productive, keep yourself busy, um, and make yourself feel good about yourself, that you're accomplishing something, that you're not just sitting you know, day after day in the hammock with your feet in the sand, you know, drinking San Miguel's and margaritas and all that stuff, looking for frogs. Um, this is really important because I know if you've visited here or if you live here now, you've seen the guys that come here. Um, they settle in, they get into a routine, uh, and they really don't, they find out, you know, I can only watch so much TV during the day, I can only download so many movies. Um, and they start getting involved in some negative behaviors. Uh, these negative behaviors usually take the form of drinking too much. If you're an alcoholic, when you have a drinking problem, the Philippines is a great place to come and kill yourself with alcoholism. Uh, alcohol here is extremely cheap. Beers are about 30 pesos, which is about 80 cents. And hard liquor is, is even cheaper. Um, and it's, it's, it's pretty rough. So uh, a lot of guys do they get involved with the alcohol. Some guys get involved with the drugs, the shabu, the methamphetamine, the crystal meth. Um, and some guys get involved in negative social relationships, um, doing the hustle piece, doing you know that type of thing, and basing their emotional well-being on other people. Um, there's something missing with them, and that comes around to haunt them, and that can cause problems. Um, because again, when you're dealing with people here, you're not dealing just with that person; you're dealing with their entire extended family. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. Um, there's a number of other ways that people get involved. A lot of times it's just pathos. A lot of times it's just uh, depression. Um, guys, you know, that might have had mental health issues in the past. All of a sudden they're revisited by those. So you got to have something that you're doing. Um, one of the things that I do here is, and again, we get asked this a lot on the site. It's like, Ned, what do you do for work? How do you stay busy? What do you do? Um, I write SEO content and I edit other people's SEO content and I also do final translations on translated documents. Um, a lot of them from Italian to uh, English and from Spanish to, to English. And that keeps me busy. I work on that about uh, three to four hours a day. Mostly, most of my time is actually done uh, working on content. And I, I put in sometimes like 30 hours a week I basically get to work my own hours and I basically get to do what I want to do when it comes to selecting what kind of content I want to write. When I first started it was all business content. I had to write all kinds of business stuff, uh, managerial documents. And that was pretty boring but at this point um, projects are getting submitted to me and I get to pick and choose. Um, but again I've been doing this for a little while and that's a good place to be. Um, and that makes me feel fulfilled, that makes me feel happy about myself, put some money in my pocket. Um, and at the end of the day, I can look myself, you know, I can look at myself in the mirror and say, you know, I did the best job I could do today. Um, it gives me a sense of fulfillment. It makes me feel like I'm contributing something and not just existing. Um, and that's important. And it's not just in the Philippines, it's everywhere. But it's particularly here, because in a lot of cases, you're going to feel socially isolated. Yeah, you're going to be, you know, have Filipinos all over the place and expats all over the place. Um, but there's a, there's a certain level of separation. A lot of the expats here are pretty much rugged individualists, and they're not looking to ex extend their uh, friends lists. I'm speaking generally. And uh, the Filipinos, you know, they're Filipinos. They're doing their Filipino thing. And, uh, you know, unless you're actively involved with their family, um, you're not really going to be hanging out way too much with them. Uh, so when guys get here, and they start to sell and there's a couple things they can do to stay productive to have that as the French call it that raison d'etre that reason for being <laughs> having shit to do um, some of the guys become gentlemen farmers this is one of the first things I encountered uh, they'll get these massive tracts of land often you know the Bayawan or out in the foothills somewhere 
Um, and the next thing you know, they're they're becoming horticulturalists. They got these huge farms growing with all these vegetables and fruits and whatnot. If you look at Alaska Al's video, you can see an example of that, and uh, where he's got those grafted Lang, Long Kong Lanzonis going. Um, and a lot of times guys come here with no knowledge of this stuff and they just learn it as they go along. There's another guy, Graham, who's actually a horticulturalist, I believe. So he did this way before he, became, he came here. And he does the same thing. He's a gentleman farmer. He's got, you know, um, vegetables and fruits growing all over his properties. And he's passionate about that. And uh, we tried to do it here in Bunyao, but we didn't have enough sunlight. And uh, we didn't realize that the arc of the sun changed over time. So uh, our garden died. But hey, we gave it a shot. Um, other guys get involved and then writing. A lot of guys are like, I've always felt like I wanted to write a book, write a novel, you know, write, write something, and now I have the opportunity to do that. And they sit there on their laptops and they type up their novel. Um, other guys get involved in charitable organizations. You're going to see a lot of this. Um, organizing blood drives, community events, uh, boxing fundraisers. You saw the video we did with Peter and, and Daisy and uh, they had the boxing fundraiser. They're getting ready to have another one. Um, building basketball courts for the kids. Building recreational centers. Um, getting involved in their communities. You know, they come here, we come here, they, we build a house, we build a home, we have this nice place and they don't feel like it's enough just to sit there. So they want to become, you know, part of the community so they start helping out. Um, and that's great. And you also see, and they'll have websites on their charitable organizations, you know, international 501c3 nonprofits, and uh, and that's a great thing. You see guys getting involved with that. Um, guys get involved in diving, snorkeling, um, mountain climbing, mountain biking. Mountain bike Dan, I haven't done his video yet, sorry Dan, but he's very passionate about that. Um, so there's things to do, there's things to get involved with, meaningful things. Um, again, the coming here and doing the drinking and the, you know, chasing things is only going to last you so long. It's only going to, you know, fill your hours for so many days. And then you got to find something more. That's just my thought. That's just my two cents. That's just my opinion. Um, if you have anything you'd like to add, if you agree, if you disagree, leave it down in the comment section. Um, and if you like the channel, subscribe to the channel because we're constantly trying to put out more content. And we're going to have some changes over at our website over at myphilippinedreams.com at some point. And, that's, and that cow I think, is getting ready to charge me. So I'm going to head out. This is Ned over at My Philippine Dreams. Until next time, take care. Look at that. No, that one.